Welcome to your Daily Revolution podcast. Today's topic, the art of giving and living. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go. This is your Daily Revolution. Living prosperity, we show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blueprint. Welcome, welcome to your Daily Revolution podcast. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And I really appreciate you just being a part of my world, allowing me to be in your world to help you, to inspire you to impact your heart and soul and your perspective so you can go live your greatest life, to really make a difference and an impact on this planet before it's your time to go. So let's talk about this concept of the art of giving and living. I remember growing up and my parents would always give. We wouldn't have a lot, but if someone came to the house, you better believe we were giving the best of what we had to them. See my dad give the clothes up, like the jacket off his back. I've seen him give people rides. I've seen him give his time. My father is an electrician. And people would say, hey, can you come wire this? My, my father could have easily charged, but it's Saturday mornings. He would take one of us and we would hold his meter and he'd go wire people's homes. He'd wire their fans, their sockets. I mean, he'd, he'd wire almost entire homes and he would never take money for it. And I used to think, dad, you're crazy. And now I get it. I understand it because I just came from a church function. I go to the, the church, uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and we have young men and young women, and we're doing an auction for the young women tonight. We're auctioning up baked goods. So everyone brings a baked good, and we just bid them up. And, you know, you're, you know, people paying $25, $30 for, you know, a cake or something. And it's to raise money for a good cause to support our young women for their activities and just their their growth and adventures and helping them to become great young women in society. And we saw two things that we absolutely wanted, key lime pie and a homemade, well, their homemade key lime pie, homemade apple pie. And my wife, she, we're like joking. She's like, you get the key lime pie or you don't come home tonight. I'm like, okay. (laughs) So, you know, I think I bid up the, the key lime pie to $35. I'm like, great. And then I see the apple pie and I want this apple pie. And the bidding starts going. And it, I mean, I, I start up with 10, then it's up to 20, then 25, 30, and, and it gets up to 50, then 50 to 75, then 75 to 80. And I finally just yell out 100, 100. And of course, he says, sold. And someone else said 105. So I send the Venmo over to the lady collecting the money. And then my wife's like, hey, to take the pie and give it to them. And of course, let's. Uh, I send the 100 over, I take the, the apple pie and I give it to the family who tried to bid 105. And he comes and gives me a hug. He's like, oh man, thank you so much. And there's something about giving what you have and giving till it hurts and becoming the type of person who gives freely. My parents taught me this. I saw this in like growing up in our church, my parents would just always, they were the first ones to go help people move. See, my parents give so much. My wife, same, she is a giver. And anytime I see, you know, people doing fundraisers and it's for its good cause, you know, we just, we donate and we really have learned to give back. And it's not the amount that matters. Like whether you give a, a dollar or a hundred dollars or $100,000, or maybe you give two or three hours of your time, or maybe you have an expertise in something that you could really share to make a difference for someone. The whole concept and principle here is to give, to become a giver, to become someone who creates value for other people by giving other people the things that you have that's accessible, that's available. And I've seen this bless my life tremendously. We've been the recipients of people giving as well. Growing up when I was in fourth grade, I remember like we were in fourth grade, we didn't have a Christmas tree yet. It was like three days before Christmas. It was just, it is what it is. And I remember a family bringing over a Christmas tree and bringing over Christmas gifts. And I've never forgot that. It's like, man, people loved us enough to bring us, my family, like gifts. My wife had a major surgery a couple months ago and our church our congregation for like two, three weeks were bringing us dinners every night. I'm talking big, full meals. That touched my heart. Like I fell in love. Like I loved our people in our church already where we live. 
But I fell in love with every one of them. We had old folks, young folks, people bringing their, their delicious foods to serve my family and to give to us. So the principle is that giving is living and living is giving and give till it hurts and give with a happy heart. Take a look at this in the physical realm, physical, spiritual, relational, financial. Where in your physical life can you give to others? Right now, I train my sons in the weight room and there's a young boy in our church who wants to work out. So, of course, my son invites him. I'm like, oh, man, I got to train this kid. And it's funny. It's it's like he's 15 years old and he's a skinny, skinny, just he's a skinny boy. Strong, great attitude. I train him. I take an hour, two times a week to train this young man and my boys. Physical, spiritual. Where can you give spiritually inside of your world and inside of your sphere of influence? Two times a month, I go teach this class called Mission Prep. It's in prospects who are prepared to become missionaries and serve missions inside of our church all over the world. And I drive about 30 minutes and I go teach for about an hour, hour, 10 minutes and I drive home, right? So it's a good, it's a good two hours on the Sunday of my time. Every Sunday, my wife and I, we give back in our church. We teach every Sunday, teach the youth. And I love giving them my time and talents to build the kingdom of God on this planet. Relationally, where can you give more to your spouse? Where can you give more to your children? Perhaps it's just listening. One thing that I've really been conscious of is being present with my sons, just listening. And boy, my boys can talk. Dad, guess what? Dad, 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 guess what? I'm like, oh, I got to take turns. Let's just take a number. <laughs> Let's take turns. And what a difference it's made in my life to just give my sons my time, my listening, my attention, and my presence. And I'm grateful. It allows us to stay connected. Same thing with my beautiful wife. I give to her as much as I can, hitting the hot buttons that make her happy, that make her feel loved, that makes her feel appreciated, and just so much love and warmth that I give to her. Financially, this is a fun one. Where can you give financially to people? Where can you give of your money, your resources, to make a difference. A good friend of mine had an auction recently and I was looking at the items and I was going to bid and I was going to bid and then I totally forgot and it passed. So I got his Venmo and I said, hey man, send me your Venmo, I'll send some money over to you. And we sent some money and made it it, like that. That's the whole point of life. The whole point of life is not to accumulate stuff and and fill your barns and your stores facilities with stuff that you never use. Point of life is to grow and then to create value for other people to serve. In a marketplace, the more money you make, the more people you can help, the more people you can help, the more money you make. It's an amazing cycle of prosperity. So give, give till it hurts. Last year and this year, we do what's called a $100 tip challenge where, again, if the bill is like 20, 30, 40 bucks, we just randomly tip someone $100. And you can't believe the difference it would make for people. I'd get, people would find me on Instagram, send me a message and they would just say, you, that was an answer to my prayers. I'm like getting emotional about it because I've just learned to follow what my parents have taught me, which is to, to give, to give of my time, to give my talents, to give my energy, to give my resource, to give money. What would happen in your life if you could start to implement and live this principle that living is giving, and that giving is living, and then you give till it hurts. Like that's the one of the greatest things about life is when you learn to live this principle, it's amazing what happens. You always seem to have enough. And for some people, they have more than enough. My hope in listening to this is that you will turn your life into a life of giving. Living is giving, giving is living, give to let hurts, go make a difference for people. Try the $100 tip challenge. And if look, if you're not at that place in your life where you can give $100, maybe just tip them 30% or 40%. Another way to give is my, my, my boys and I, whenever we go to restaurants, we just, especially if I see a mom with kids, and you know, I don't, I don't even care if she's married or if she's single. I just, I think back to when my mom and my mom and dad divorced and we were with my mom a lot and it was just us. And I remember people paying for our bill. I remember I was in junior high and my mom would just get emotional and I could tell that someone had paid for our bill. 
I'm sure someone's seen a Samoan mom with five little kids because my other brother and sister weren't with us. There would have been seven. Just people paid for our stuff. So I pay it forward. And almost every time we go out to eat, my boys are like, let's pay for their food. I'm like, you got it. And we try to do it anonymously and really try to make a difference for people. What's the point of this? Go give. Go give back. Like happiness is the true measure of wealth. And I'm challenging those of you listening to this, go give back. Go make enough money that you can give and give till it hurts and live to give and give to live. And it'll make such a huge difference in your life. If this has made a difference for you. Take a screenshot, snapshot, tag me on it and forward this to someone who needs to hear this because I'm sharing with you real, raw, relevant things in my life that truly make a difference for us as a family. And I bring a lot of happiness and joy to our lives. So I appreciate you listening to the podcast. And until next time, this is your boy, Satemangali, reminding you that if you want to get to the top of the mountain, where your prize promises and your like all the things that you want are waiting for you, you've got to be ruthlessly committed every single day to do the work that would get you to where you want to go so that you can truly experience abundance. You can experience memories. You can experience everything that life has to offer for you. Have a great day, my friends. I'm out. Let's go. This is your daily revolution. Live in prosperity. We show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blueprint. This is the your daily revolution. You already know. And if you don't, then check my resume. Turning pressure into possibilities every day. We all can win and live our unique purpose. We change our mindsets and put the work in. This is the your daily revolution. Daily revolution. Revol- 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 revolution. Your daily revolution podcast. Ah.